Hey guys, welcome to the SC2K show. This is Ron Moore along with J Man46241, We Got 309, Bear 13, and Jeff from Strictly Sega America. How's it going, guys? America! I, I Amazing. <laughs> Bear 90210. <laughs> Wish and Doherty. Because you have so much drama in your life, Bear. No fat, oh. no fat chicks. <laughs> no fat chicks. <laughs> There, there was a wrestler in WCW named the Fat Chick Thriller, Mike Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. I love how every time we have a conversation, it always goes back to when he used to watch wrestling and about one wrestler. I just, I love that. Um, always comes back down to that. What? Nothing? And this podcast is about our favorite YouTubers and who we subscribe to on YouTube, who we watch on a regular basis. And it who is. Inspired us, who inspired us to do uh, videos on YouTube, etc. Oh, yeah, uh, I, I forgot. Bear didn't get the memo. Ron, you forgot to send Bear the memo. Yeah, he, didn't, he was late. Uh, the TPS report. Yeah, you. you oh God. <laughs> now, yeah, now you there. Was, I didn't you get the, the cover message. sheet for it. Yeah. Yeah, Bear yeah, just threw it out. Yeah, we didn't send you the facts. I'm going to need those TPS reports done by 10:30, Bear. Yeah. Okay. So if you could just go ahead and get started, that would That'd be great. great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> seriously, let, let's get back on topic. Yeah, um, Master Hand. Okay, um, <laughs> hey, I was trying to help you, Ron. I figured you'd yeah, appreciate yeah, You know what? I'm going to get Master started. Douche. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hey, start. come on. I want those TPS reports due by four, and you don't get to, you got to come to work on Sunday. Okay? okay. Let me know what. I'm officially call Jeff uh, Mr. Off Topic, because he usually starts it. We should just change this po- uh, podcast to TPS reports. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How about BS reports, if you don't be quiet? No. Ooh. 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 Oh. 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 No, but um, I guess I'll go ahead and get started here. Um, Ronnie's gonna hit me again. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I hit you the first time. Put Pretty some weird. stank on it. <laughs> um, the doctor but, says I'm lucky to be alive after that hit. <laughs> okay, uh, shut it. I lost ten percent of my brain. Shut it. Okay, I think it's time we actually do begin. Um, <laughs> believe it or not, um, probably very little people know this. My inspiration on YouTube is actually Skip Rogers. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually Billy Mitchell. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's actually um, none other than r 21. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I used to watch him back in the day. Yeah. Me too. And you're probably thinking, what? You're, you guys' review styles are much different. I mean, r yeah. cuss Sailor, and uh, I don't cuss at all my videos. Maybe, say, say, maybe if I say the word ass or hell. <laughs> Both I come to cussing, and um, so. But what inspired me? Well, it all started when uh, the old MSN group, Southside Video Games, I was a part of. Someone had posted a link saying, "Could this be the worst game ever made? Watch out for foul language. Click on this link to watch this review of this horrible game, Big Rigs Over the Road Racing for PC." And so I clicked on it and watched his R Eight Twenty One's hilarious review of the game, and I just couldn't couldn't believe what I was watching. I thought it was freaking hilarious. And at the time, this is like early 2007, um, and I didn't have a YouTube account, or I tried to make a YouTube account, but it said you must validate your email address, and it never sent me a confirmation, so I could never post comments or anything. Uh-huh. So I, I would just watch videos, but never really officially had to have an account. And um, I didn't know about the profiles or the channels. You can click on them and view more videos from that user, and I would just watch videos on YouTube randomly and AVGN's videos as well from 2006, and but um, watching that one review from RB21, I finally decided, you know, I want to see more from this guy, and so yeah. I clicked on his name, RB21, and I looked at his or profile or channel, and I didn't know what it was called. I thought it was called profile, and because I was a noob to YouTube, noob to, I'm such a noob, um, and then I said, yeah, let me check out his other videos, and I started watching. Other videos, uh, the Ring Terror's Realm for the Dreamcast that he did, and Widget, <laughs> and uh, other reviews. And during that time, it was when my old job, Smokey Bones, had shut down. I got laid off and was forced to go. Uh, my new job, Chili's, was new at the, new to me at the time. I started there in the summer of '07, and it was kind of a and plus dealing with school full time and something had to give. I had to. I was having like a rough time with my job in school and. So at the end of the day, I would go home and watch uh, Army 21's videos to kind of escape reality for a while. And I got freaking hooked on this channel, and I finally decided to make a better effort in making the channel. So I made a new channel, uh, my Raw Moore channel. And 
it was just used as a channel just for commenting and rating, and I didn't make no videos yet. And um, so, I, and I, Army 21 was my first subscription. And so, then after that, after a while during that summer, I said, man, I really want to start doing something like this. I want to start doing video game reviews, but how do you do it? You got a camcorder, and you got to put it perfectly aiming toward the computer screen or your TV, and how they make it look so good, the quality. And uh, finally got started around August or September doing my own videos, and um, a lot of them were utterly horrible and taken off YouTube. And then I started getting better and better and figured out how to use screen capture and all that stuff with Cam Studio. And so, um, yeah, our make was the one that really made me say, I want to start doing this. I want to start doing this, even though our view, st view styles are different. And so, yeah, Army 21 is one that uh, got me started on YouTube and doing reviews. So, yeah, it's uh, kind of hard to believe. But um, then all, along the way, I met other, uh, other YouTubers, uh, Goemon047. Uh, this guy, he's he just like, well, Jedi's back, but he's just like Jedi and Sycophant. Disappeared, and for whatever reason, just busy with life and don't do videos anymore. These guys have a, a huge following. Goemon has... I don't know how many he has, probably like seven, 8,000, if not more, subscribers with only a few videos. That's how good he is. With only a few videos, he got thousands of subscribers. And I think his claim to fame was the uh, video response to ABGN's review of Simon's Quest. And that's how I discovered him. And, and uh, so I subscribed to him, and believe it or not, he subscribed to me too. I guess he liked some of my horrible bootleg camcorder reviews, webcam low buzz reviews at the time. And so... Um, <laughs> Also, uh, Moss and Vic were uh, like a duo where they would uh, re review some great games like Mega Man. And uh, so I subscribed to them. And uh, Funkies, you know, and Retro Gamer 3. Retro Gamer 3 won my first contest. And, and uh, the list goes on and on. But those that I mentioned right there are pretty much my favorite uh, YouTubers or one uh, that I started to watch at first. And Spunky's was, uh, what got me to subscribe to him was his hilarious review of Bass Street Brawler. And that game was just, oh, just oh, horrible. And uh, <laughs> so I got a uh, total of 33 subscriptions now. Um, and Star Soldier is another one I want to mention. Uh, he, he's like, uh, I don't know, he's just, I think he always drinks an energy drink or something before he starts reviewing. He's always like, yeah, baby, oh, yeah, Oh, yeah. Are you sure he's just not like getting it directly infused into his body? I don't know. <laughs> <At all. laughs> uh, I, and, and the person that reviews with him is complete opposite. Like, oh yeah, baby, a star soldier, and I'm here with Jason. Realization, and, and <laughs> just relaxed and just uh, don't hardly ever talk. And then, uh, but they they work well together. They're, they're a hilarious duo when they review games. Yeah, it's like uh, uh, Penn and Teller. Yeah, Penn and Teller. And um, mm -hmm. see, I'm looking at my subscriptions list here, and I'm going to try to skim through it real quick and let you guys talk about your favorite uh, YouTubers. Um, yeah. uh, K-Wing <laughs> K -Wing, K -Wing is pretty much known. He probably has uh, 15,000 subscribers by now. I'm not sure. Uh, very professional reviewer, and uh, he's, you know, he's proven that people on YouTube can become – him and Goldman has proven uh, you don't have to cuss your head off to be a successful video game reviewer. So those two are pretty awesome. Um, let's see here. Happy Video Game Nerd. He's, he's freaking awesome with his reviews of the Little Nemo, the Dream Master, and Star Tropics. Those are pretty good. Um, we all know Jedi. Um, mm -hmm. let's see, uh, Jericho Squink used to, well, I, I think he didn't do that much reviews. He just I mean, did awesome, um, uh, uh, blogs. And so, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think he does much videos anymore, though. Um, let's see. FCEU 100, awesome uh, speedrunner or, or tool assisted speedrunner. Um, he, uh, I think he got busy with his new job, so he don't do any videos anymore. But his speedruns are awesome. Um, I don't know who this guy is. J Man <laughs> 2210. J Man 90210. Who the hell is he? Kill him. <laughs> get him. Why can't he just get a better mic? Dead Fan 93 won my second video game review contest. So he's, pretty, so he's pretty ECW. Uh, Corn Shack Gaming, um, awesome video game reviewer, uh, awesome play, playthrougher. Um, I subscribed to him when I saw his Dirty Harry playthrough, and I finally got to see more of the game other than the first level. So uh, it was awesome to watch that. Um, 
And here lately, uh, Review Check USA, his videos are hilarious. His Santa, uh, Bad Santa review for the Atari 2600 was awesome. Um, so his videos are very good. And I recently resubscribed to Army 21 under his new account, Boston Entertainment 21. Oh, he's sure. back? Uh, he's been back for a long oh, time. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know this. I haven't been paying much attention. Sorry. And uh, I don't know if that's a collab channel or it's just his new channel. I'm not sure. But um, he re-uploaded, some, I think, a couple of his old reviews so far. Uh, um, I see uh, Big Rigs Over the Road Racing, the one that got me started. Uh, you got hooked on Army 21. And then uh, the, the Ring Terror's Realm. And uh, so, yeah. And the latest person I subscribe to, if you're a wrestling fan, you might want to check out Wrestling Roundtable. Um, this is mainly, I think, for people that watch wrestling for years and years and years and and uh, understand the terminology of uh, the business, like heel, face, and, and uh, shoot, and all that stuff. This is like a, a shoot um, wrestling YouTube channel. So, yeah, they're pretty awesome. So, uh, let's see, I can't think of any more YouTubers uh, that I may watch, but I don't subscribe to. Uh, Art Fiend's pretty hilarious. I don't subscribe to him, but he has good videos. I think the greatest channel ever has to be the Irate Fanboys channel. Oh yeah, <laughs> they, they got a thousand subscribers, and no, I'm just kidding. Uh, really? Oh no. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that's it for me for my favorite YouTubers. I got quite a few. Mm. Well, I you're, love YouTube. Uh, Jamie? Right. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter how what order we go in, really. No, go ahead, Jeff. Point. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Now, I haven't been around nearly as long as you guys now. I mean, I'm not new to the Internet, but I'm definitely new. I've been maybe on YouTube for the past three years. But, I don't know, over the years, i found a lot of people that people have just passed by and missed. Like, does anyone, uh, oh, we were talking earlier before the podcast, uh, has anyone ever heard of Tolstoy Kafkaevsky? No. He was really big on YouTube, like, a year ago. He had 15,000 subscribers. He used to do really good video game reviews. He was a Metal Gear Solid obsession freak, but mm. I don't know. He did a lot of he did a lot of up close and personal reviews, like you know, just pointed the TV at the camera. But people enjoyed it. I, I seen his. Uh, yeah, he almost had his own site. Yeah, actually had his own site. Holy crap, Batman dot com. Yeah, I seen that Atari Jaguar uh, review that he did. Yeah, yeah. Was but, awesome. Yeah, it was pretty good. Then there was a. Uh, uh, any, anyone ever heard of Kane Kusanagi, 2-Bit Gaming? No. Really? He's yeah, uh, uh, Ku Kusanagi 2006 or something like that? No, Kane Kusanagi. Oh, nope. Well, it, yeah, he does a lot. He, does this, uh, he has his own cartoon series called Eastward Bound. It's about two nerds going to college. It's pretty good. And he's got his, uh, he does his own show called 2-Bit Gaming. Like, he had to repair stuff and... You know, just just stuff like that. Then there's a there's, there's a new guy I found recently. His name is uh, Tiger Call Gaming. He does like the gaming awards every year. He's been doing it for the past two years now. He's pretty good. I'm trying to think. Uh, oh man, there's a anyone anyone. No one's a real Resident Evil fan here, are they? I, I kind of am. Well, there's. Uh, you should check out Shadow Leggy. Have you ever heard of Shadow Leggy? Oh yeah, that guy. No, it's a girl. That girl. <laughs> I didn't know the you know, She does like the 80 Resident Evil. I love the Triangle Man video. You know, Triangle Man fights Particle Man. Man, the square. Yeah. They get a fight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. There's just, there's so many good ones. I'm going through my list right now. There's just, uh, I'm trying to find the, the best ones to talk there about in a short amount of time. Oh, uh, there was one. I can't believe I forgot to mention real quick. Um, All right. Yeah, it's cool. Whatever. One Up Gamer. Oh, Oh, man. One Up Gamer. Oh, no. That guy... <laughs> Oh man, uh, move over ABGN, Irate Gamer, and uh, Sick of Fit Roll into One. Um, one Up Gamer is going to get one million subscribers before this year's over. I'm sorry to say it. I know a lot of people have. Now, before I saw the ABGN, before I saw the Irate Gamer, I was a Spoonie One fan. I've been a Spoonie One fan since 2006. Yay. Spoonie. I've been a big fan of his since his early days. He's he's always had good content. He doesn't have to be angry all the time. I mean, some of his videos he gets mad, some he doesn't. So, you know, it's a good mix. What about Jamie's favorite, uh, the Gaming Goose? I really don't watch him. He looks okay, but I just haven't found a mention. There's a one underground guy I've been really wanting to promote. His name is, anyone heard of uh, 3DO to go? No. It's a really, what? I'll take a 3DO to go, please. 
Yeah. Well, it, it's a really good channel. Uh, it's uh, this guy, Trey Gorn's channel. He's only got like maybe 200 subscribers. But he's been doing this show for two years called 3 do to go And it's really funny. It's a good 3DO review show. He just reviews these most rare and obscure 3DO games. Also, he's a big, he's a big anime fan, and I, you know, that's where Any, I really know him from. Anything with 3DO in the name is not good. No, I'm just kidding. It's really good. I don't like a 3DO. I mean, I own one, but I don't. Did he did he review Plumbers No More Ties? No, no. He's done, like, a bunch of different ones. So, I mean, come on. There's been so many different. Doom. The 3DO version. <laughs> why, why not? And, you know, you, you, you can't forget, I don't know, it's just, I mean, you guys have been on YouTube, what, for like five years or something? No. Really? <laughs> it seems like you you and Jay, I mean, uh, you and Ron Moore have. Really? Just, no, I've, I've been there since, I mean, uh, you mean as far as officially making videos? Or, yeah. No, I've, I've been around since July 07. There, there's another, probably this is the last guy I'm going to talk about for now because I'm wasting so much time. There's another guy called, uh, just just really, he's a hilarious guy. His name is, uh, what was it? Bolt Board, uh, 041. But it's just funny because he makes this uh, little show about him and his brother, uh, like, fighting this constant battle, like, over the internet and stuff. He's a really good animator, and it's really cool. He's got about 15,000 subscribers. I don't know, it's just, he's hilarious. I found him a couple months back, but I'm going to move on because I've probably got, like, another 20 more to talk about, and I don't want to waste everyone's time. So let's let's get at the most important let, ones. Let, 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 let's keep it moving. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, this podcast is going to be three hours long. You know probably. That? <laughs> probably <laughs> 18 <laughs> parts or something. <laughs> but I'm going to keep. I'm going to stop there for now and keep it moving. Someone else would like to go? Okay. The uh, Jay to the no. man. All right, Jay, man. All right. All right. Um, first of all. What a, what a toss over by um, we Guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I think got big guys. <laughs> yeah, we've got bears here. Oh, all right. Got bears in the podcast. Oh, thanks, jerks. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, Mister. I hope the Ravens win the playoffs or the right. Super Bowl. Well, no, actually, shut we up, Ron. Be, me, <laughs> all of us, all of us were wrong in that podcast. All of us. Yeah, big time. Which one? All right. Um, okay. First of all, I got to give a big shout out to uh, Mister Skip Rogers uh, because I, I, I know that you were created by Kodak, but. It's still real to me, damn it. <laughs> uh, all right, now and those roller coaster movies were the best. Oh yeah, that's uh, yeah. That's, that's I found cool. out that that the crying wrestling fan that's actually Bear's dad. Oh, shut up! <laughs> yeah, but I didn't see, hear him say A or anything. You know, you guys, it's you still guys, real to me, A. Oh, you shut up, you? Jeff. <laughs> Okay. Oh, bashing Canadians. That's what we do in America, though, dude. That's like a pastime for us. Yeah. Like, can't... No. You know, I, I have a pastime. Uh, okay. Doing my part of this podcast. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, so it's okay. not women? <laughs> for... <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, okay, first of all, uh, not like any of, the, any of these people that I, that I mentioned, they don't need like a shot out or anything like that, but that's why I'm doing that. Is it's not going to be a shot out. It's going to be people that I enjoy on YouTube. All right, shoot them. First one. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, shot out to not not after that last fiasco. Well, well, I'm trying to suppress the jealousy. That's all. I'm, I'm trying to suppress the jealousy. Okay. Anyways, uh, the first guy is R D T S M I T W. Okay, he has a weird name. He does some awesome, awesome impressions on YouTube. He, uh, yeah, he's he's awesome. Check him out. Awesome sauce. Next guy is... Is he, the one, is he the one that did the parody of uh, The Princess Bride? Yes. He's done that. Oh, okay. He's done The Dark Knight. He's done uh, Beetlejuice. Lots of movies. Very, very awesome sauce. Uh, yeah. Next guy Beetlejuice, is... Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And Bear appears. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Wild Bear. <laughs> Next guy is uh, Gorilla Bill. And that's spelled gorilla, not like gorilla, but gorilla, like gorilla war. Gorilla. You guy loves that gorilla. game. Gorilla. Yep. Gorilla. Bill. Gorilla. The nuclear the whistle. Yes. Uh, this guy does um, tutorials on Sony Vegas. So anybody out there that needs help on Sony Vegas, check this guy out. I've learned a lot of stuff from him. Uh, next is College Humor. 
Um, most Austin people have heard of College Humor, but if you haven't, check them out. Well, of course uh, we have. Sometimes hilarious videos, sometimes not so hilarious. <laughs> the uh, the Norocco thing. They had like this uh, stupid uh, sponsored by Norocco type videos, and they were just horrible, but uh, hopefully they've stopped making those. Uh, next is The Onion. The Onion is probably my favorite channel on YouTube. Oh, man, that, that channel's hilarious. They fucking rule. Yeah, The Onion is pretty good. They are, yeah. They I, can I use it. I, I can't say enough about them. Actually, me saying anything about them is, like, putting them down, you know. Like, I, I can't even, yeah. The fake, I, fake, ever since The Daily Show came out, fake news has been awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love the app. Takes it to a new level. They, they just, man. I look forward to uh, seeing their newest video pop up in my uh, subscription box. Because it's like yeah, the Apple s- channel. The what? The Apple. Yeah, that that's a great channel. I love it. Okay. Yeah, did you see their newest video? The iPad. Awesome sauce. Now, Five stars. Now for menstruating women's. Yeah. Are, are they the cha- are they the channel that had the video? Stupid piece of. Uh, yeah, the Sony one. That yeah. Yeah, that's actually how I heard of them. Uh, was through uh, Spoonie One's website, and I watched that video, and then I watched a couple others, and it was like subscribe. There we go. Yeah, that video was hilarious. Yes, it was. Much like uh, most most of theirs. Yeah. Uh, finally, is the Arch Fiend, and I know boo the Arch Fiend boo. He's so but, self arrogant. I mean, he's but. He has a good channel, and he has like, a lot of videos OMG. that make some good sense. Now, some of his videos I watch, you know, I don't like all of his videos, but most of them I do. He, you know, he makes good sense. Um, you know, he's gone after Fred and um, Shane Dawson, which is a complete douchebag. Yeah. You know, and, and, I mean, he's a partner himself. You know, most partners, they don't go after other people. You know, they, they just kind of yeah. follow that, that same, you know, uh, format that gets them more subscribers and you know more money and all that they don't rock the boat you know yeah. he, he's more of a guy that's like i don't give a damn i'm a partner but i'm gonna do what i want to do on youtube so that's why i like him and that's why i'm subscribed to him and that's my list this is the j man Woo! Woo. <laughs> yeah so Woo. i want to i'd like to also mention um i really love this guy ron mower Man, <laughs> W sauce. Actually, I can't believe. No, seriously, there's one channel we did not mention yet. The SQK. Come on. Woo! Awesome <laughs> channel. Awesome channel. They haven't had 100 subscribers yet, but they're still pretty good. Um, they're gonna get there eventually. Some guys on that channel's douchebag, but uh, <laughs> yeah. And they, they got they got one person on that channel that's a Sega fanboy. I can't stand, but he's all right. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I know okay. what you mean. He's the coolest guy ever. You know, you, you got that douchebag Ron Mower and that gay man J Man. <laughs> go watch, cool. go watch the SC2K. You got a Sega fanboy. You got a wrestling fanboy. You got an Archfiend fanboy, and you got a whatever Nintendo fanboy. We might as well fanboy. call ourselves fanboys RS. I mean, N- really. Nintendo fanboy J Man, come on. Uh, and, uh, and you got you got uh, me, you got the hooker with a heart of gold. Target Renegade oh, cares about you, hooker. Go away. <laughs> Target Renegade fanboy. I'm <laughs> idiots. <laughs> but hey, guys, the soundtrack is really good. And that gameplay is cool. And the graphics are cool. And great. Yeah, great. It, this was 1987. You guys don't know. You guys don't take... Never mind. <laughs> I'm just not going to argue anymore. Hey. You don't like it, then I'll accept that fact. That's you, losers. <laughs> <laughs> Internet <laughs> elders. So, yeah. Sorry, Back in the know. day. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> real quick, real quick though, uh, how about talking real quick, Jamie, about the Sycophant channel? Okay, yeah. Now, uh, Sycophant was awesome. He hasn't made a video in like a year. Uh, this guy was just hilarious. He was kind of like a, um, I don't know, kind of like a uh, pre retro spray. Um, but it was, he wasn't making fun of, of people's videos. He was just making fun of video games themselves. Yeah. It was kind of like, a, I guess, a different kind of like ABGN type thing where he wasn't doing reviews. He was just, you know, kind of like playing a game and just mm-hmm. bashing the hell out of it. And the, just the, 
the dude's just, he's hilarious. He's just, he understands comedy, and it sucks that uh, he left YouTube because he was really, really awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's why I'm a lot of shame. Yeah, and I, I recently did a, a video response to his Sailor Moon review. Because oh, I think God. that's one of the first ones I've watched. Uh, that, uh, we, we used to watch those videos on Yahoo, J-Man. Um, you sent that to me, and I was like, I can't believe this game. It, it's just hilarious how I made fun of it, and I had, to, I had to do a video response after watching it a few days ago. I said, that's it. Uh, last minute, uh, let's check out idea. Let's do this and get it uploaded and get it out there. And, uh, I, you know, I know I did not do it to... Uh, you know, I want to get more notice. I hope he accepts my video response. I get more subscribers, even though that would be pretty awesome. That was kind of the motive deep down. But the main motive is I've really got to do it. Let's check out video of that game, Sailor Moon. And I had trouble finding the ROM, so I didn't think I was going to really do it. She uh, is the one named Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. He's the one. Uh, oh, Sailor Moon. Moon. Sailor. God. Sorry. <laughs> um, he also made a response to Jedi uh, when he did uh, Dragon's Lair. And that was just, that was hilarious. You remember his uh, de- Survival uh, Arts video? Yeah, that was probably the funniest one. Yeah, because he goes, all right, guys, it's 3 a.m., and I could I played this game three hours ago, but I couldn't sleep because I, I just had to do a review of this game. And everybody's asleep in my house, so that's why I'm talking low. And, and then he did, he did a review of that horrible fighting ga- tournament fighting game. It's like, oh, it's just the, one of the funniest things I've ever seen. That game is just ridiculous. Yeah, in so, that video he said, um, I will, I'll, I'll bet somebody a million dollars that they can't find a game that's worse. And somebody sent him a game that was worse in the next video. He talked about that, and he was like, I was wrong. This game is worse. And it's, I don't remember the name of it. It was another fighting game. So he lost a million dollars. <laughs> well, no, but uh, <laughs> he should have. If he, if, if he would have had a million dollars, which I don't know, for, for his channel, maybe he should have a million dollars. But then he would have had to have paid it away, so. Either way, yeah. but um, all right. Uh, so let's see, we guy or bear? You guys, one of you guys want to go next? Okay. We guy. Yeah, let's save the worst <laughs> for last. <laughs> oh, oh. Yes, let's. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. So this is like a inspirations or like favorite YouTubers, like the yeah. main thing. Oh right, well, it, yeah. Even like your favorite YouTubers you like to watch right now, or that you used to watch, or who or who inspired you to do videos, stuff like that. We'll just we'll just start with favorites and then inspired. So, of course, uh, with um, favorites is, of course, like, you got the obvious James Nintendo nerd and, like, uh, no, that's pretty much it. <laughs> like, the main, well, streamed, oh, yeah, and there's, like, um, going on, like, he used to watch because he hasn't made a video in a long time. I remember his reviews, and they were good, like you said, Romero. And there's uh, jpizzle1122, they do, is it a good idea to microwave this? I like that channel's content, it's really good. I watch them, like, every day. And, uh, of course, like, you guys, Ramar, J-Man, Jeff, Show You Sega America, even though, you know, about two of you don't make videos that often, J-Man, Hey, Show hey, Sega. shut up. Hey, oh, I'm making a comeback. Like, I'm making a comeback. I'm just yeah, we'll both be making a like comeback you, soon. So I know you guys are, but you guys are all my favorites, and, of course, Ron, because you got a lot of variety, all these low-budget reviews and Let's Plays and Let's Checkouts and Tributes and all that good stuff. <laughs> And just uh, the series uh, Life and Level. Anyone heard that? No. Nope. Life and Level. Nope. It's like, yeah, it's like Jagass so with video games, sort of, say. Oh. You no. Know, it's like whenever someone loses, they get hurt. And it's like, but it's like really bad. You gotta check them out. They're funny. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta check it out. It's really bad. <laughs> I mean, like, they hurt themselves really bad. Like, it's, ugh. Bodily harm is amusing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, we forgot to mention J Man's favorite YouTuber, Silent Raw. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forget that. You know, How could you man, when I heard he had a site. I paid five bucks right away. You know, <laughs> I didn't need for him to make a video saying five dollars or GTFO. Just him uh, well, knowing no. he had a site. My precious five dollars. I tried to send him more, but he was like, "No, five dollars will do." Hmm. I, I, seriously though. Um, we got a. I think we got to give him props on his uh, GameStop rant series. That was an awesome rant. That was yeah, that was what made us subscribe to him. Cheers. That was <laughs> the only good thing that he ever did. Um, now he did make uh, a pretty funny uh, video making fun of acoustic rocker, which you know I, I don't. 
I kind of like Acoustic Rocker a little bit. He's he used to make uh, a few good videos, but yeah, just uh, Silent uh, Rob's response to him was uh, pretty funny. All the that. God, what a, what a douchebag. How are you going to get mad at people because they don't want to pay five bucks to be on a website? Well, when you work hard... premium and, content. Yeah, premium content that he had, like, one video on there. And, man, I want to, yeah, I want to pay for that right away. You know what? That reminds me. I'm going to start charging people for SC2K. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> no, uh, I paid that much. <laughs> oh, actually, I need to hurry up and renew the the, ho- the hosting or whatever this month or SC2K is going to go down. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, so is that it Eight. we got? No, there's more. Just like, oh, you know. Oh, too, too late, Bear? Uh, no, go ahead. <laughs> no, it's just like, um, of course, the SC2K. I mean, come on, it's the SC2K. That's enough said right there. Are you just plugging it because you're a part of it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's also good. It's good times. Lots of good times. Of course, uh, some friends that you guys do 100% don't know. You know, one of my good friends I've known for a while on the internet for you guys. Five for six, five two five D, Google Mass one to two, and Cold Snap Frost Nova. You don't know them. Um, there's also Dead Fan ninety three. Yeah. And uh, yeah, of like favorite YouTubers. That's pretty much about it. Dead Fan ninety three so, uh, has potential to be a big time player on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, he can. He he um, and he has a great commentary voice, and his reviews are professional. And play dudes. Yeah, he's got he's a good a- voice. Yeah, he's got, like, a radio show. I won't be surprised if he uh, surpasses me in subscribers this year. Um, He's moving up along, I think, 130-something, maybe a little bit more by now. Um, You know, I I mentioned him real quick, but I should give more credit to RetroGamer3. I know that uh, um, he won my first contest, but um, he really surpassed the living hell out of me in subscribers. And uh, I had a feeling that he would. But uh, he was one of the judges in my second contest, and he ha- he still to this day has pretty great reviews. I said I've not checked out his latest AVG and DVD review yet, 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 yet but I'm planning on doing that. Um, but he has uh, for some reason he has subscribed to me. I, I I shouldn't be too butthurt over that. I guess he just didn't think I was that entertaining anymore. But um, I resubscribed to him because I'm thinking, you know what? I should stay subscribed to him because he did win the contest, and that was part of the prize, my subscription. And uh, his videos really are good. So yeah, you found out they were good. I think he's a little bit arrogant, you know, a little bit cocky. But uh, other than that, okay. I mean, his reviews really are good. And so, uh, you know, check him out. Yeah. Um, okay. Talk. <laughs> uh, you got Shut it. Yeah, and uh, let's see. Um, just a quick inspiration thing. Uh, anyone ever heard of this guy called Cloud Eight Seven Four Five? Oh God! Archfiend talked. Archfiend talked about him. Oh, everybody's talked about him. Yeah, I mean, he was this big guy with walkthroughs and stuff, and then he like disappeared, and then he can't, and he's just been up and down. But yeah, he used to be my first inspiration. I loved all his videos. It was just like randomness, and that's pretty much what I am, as you all know, of course, from now. As for my yep. playthroughs. Just random. Like you're very hyper. <laughs> yeah, very <laughs> hyper. Very hyper random. Wait a minute. As, as random as you are, you mean your inspiration is not Luis Prower? No, I was about to say that actually. It was actually. It's also Luis Prower too. I watched him. I like him just a little better than Cloud actually. But like Cloud was first, and then I found Luis, and I'm like, whoa, Luis is cool too. He's random too. Then those are like the main two inspirations. There was a third. Uh, I can't think of a third one right now. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your inspiration, but you can't remember. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember my inspiration. Thank you for inspiring me, whoever you are. Thank whoever... you for being a friend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And there's, um, what is this? Oh, yeah. One last person to mention who's, like, a really great YouTuber. Actually, my favorite. Um, we got three and I. He's, like, so awesome. God. Oh, but man. Not as good. He's not as good as Strictly Nintendo. Oh, yeah. damn. That Nintendo. Strictly or, uh, Nintendo. <laughs> Junior. Or we do. Yeah. Yeah, we do, man. Haven't made that yet. But anyway. <laughs> we got him three. Yeah, that's the other me. Except it's the same me, so it's really me. So, that's about it. Uh, bear. bear. Before I move on to Bear, I keep forgetting people, and I just remember <laughs> another one. I just remember another one. Um, Angus X1. Um, this guy, well, now, wait a minute. This guy inspired me to start the Skip Rogers channel. 
So that's true. That's true. true. <laughs> It was Thanks Donald a lot for making that crappy channel. Yeah, who 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 knows Kim Rogers? Uh, <laughs> Dom four four one sent me the video, and so without those two, you probably wouldn't see the the legendary Skip Rogers channel that it is today. Yeah, I'd, I'd actually uh, like to add on uh, Dom four four one because he uh, helped along the Mister Billy channel a lot, you know, by providing challenges and and, and whatnot. So that was a, a big help for the Mister Billy channel. So. Go down four four one, awesome sauce. Yeah, and Maggie said uh, that after the Skip Rogers videos, though, I didn't really get into him that much. Yeah. So uh, you know, I unsubscribed from him as Ron Moore, but decided for some reason, you know, what the heck, resubscribed to him as the S T U K, and uh, just maybe watch some rants they might do every once in a while. But the Skip Rogers thing, I mean, uh, nothing personal against Maggie's, but I, I, I kind of think the Skip Rogers thing it, to me. I mean, he has a lot of followers, and that's good, you know. But to me, it's kind of, he's kind of like a one-hit wonder in a way because the Skip Rogers thing was the only thing that I really liked about him. Other than that, you know, I didn't care no more. Uh, but I still watch his videos, and uh, he, he did a, a you know pretty decent review of Shinobi 3 uh, a few weeks ago. Um, if you like people like Jedi, Jedi is his inspiration, I think. If you like to watch people that get in front of the webcam and do random reviews or random vlogs about this or and that. Or get naked. <laughs> Okay. Um, then, <laughs> then check out Magus X1 and give him credit for inspiring me to start. You know, our Magus inspired the Ron Moore channel. Magus inspired the uh, Skip Rogers channel, and uh, Master Hand inspired the S2K channel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. I was there at the founding of that channel, and it was me a too. beautiful we moment. All, we all were, except for Mayor. Except, sorry, Mayor. Uh, but Magus did not ask Mr. Skip Rogers. Uh, to do the last part of the uh, the Skip Rogers thing on Magus's channel. Yeah, and that was Got a little... little Tino 500 to do it. It sounds more go. like Shaft than Skip Rogers. <laughs> Shaft, Shaft. Shaft Rogers. Shaft. Mr. Shaft Rogers. Uh, Damn right. Watch out for the spies. Strict, oh. Strictly Shaft. Strictly Shaft. <laughs> of America. That sounds like a porno. Strictly You're a porno. porno. You got okay. to push out. Strictly you tight. Want it so hard. <laughs> Shut it, Bear. You're not supposed to say this out loud. <laughs> hard. <Okay>. Hard. <laughs> no, that's enough. All right, Bear X I I. It's your turn. <laughs> I I I. Um, don't have anyone. All right. Okay. Thank, thank you. Bye bye. Bear Bear Thirteen always provides elaborate commentary in all these. <laughs> What? <laughs> I, think we got, I think we got stole Charlie's laugh. I'm just laughing. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. And I also got my uh, laugh is with an inspiration from Charlie. <laughs> yeah. From Sega. Should be Sega. <laughs> Sega. No, it's but, Sega. Yeah. That's Sega. Inspiration. That's Sega. Inspiration. My inspiration to do a strictly Sega game. It came a long time before Charlie, but uh, Charlie was the main inspiration in a sense. It just. <laughs> I always wanted to do a review where I review because I had a, I already had a decent Sega collection. I mean, I already had almost every system except Sega. Master System, and I had a lot of games. And I did a review of Daytona USA, and I guess he checked it out and he enjoyed it. So then I started talking to him about joining up, and and I joined up. And woo, yeah. Daytona, and also in Daytona USA review, I sing to embarrass myself because that's what I used to do as a kid. As further. I was like, Daytona, let's go away, let's go away. Space Lobster. Daytona. <laughs> That's right. an Army 21 thing. Come so on. Oh, uh, sorry. Bear, uh, any more you want to mention besides yourself? We got 39. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we got a 90. Yeah, 91468. I thought it was We Guy uh, 62982. It's it's four six two four one. Hey, hey, Carlos Mencia, stop it! <laughs> oh, no, hey. I guess I should give hey, out baby. the obligatory uh, the obligatory um shout outs. Uh, ST two K because it's it's ST two K like I said and not said. Ron Moore because he's religious. <laughs> J man, J man because he's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff because his voice is squeaky, oh, and a weak guy because 
then that's it. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even have anything for what he got. It's just oh. awkward and wrong. <laughs> Come on, Bear. I, have awesome. to Mark. That. I think Bear is drunk as well. <laughs> not alone. I'm not alone. <laughs> um, this is balls. Love's cast. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Um, I'd like to mention uh, some of the cast from the Low Budget Review series. Any of you guys have a personal favorite from that from that series? Swindle. Oh, yes. Super Mario Kart. Other than Ron Moore. I'm talking about no, characters. Yeah, Super Mario Kart. Uh, I mean, I'm not, the, the people that are in the review, like Venom 22, oh. Arkane. Yeah. Swindle. Oh, uh, oh, Swindle. Oh, Swindle. We got three nines. Oh. Swindoll we Jimmy. <laughs> I'm gonna say it like five more times. <laughs> we got. I was. We got, why do you like? Why, why do you like Swindoll, J Man? Because uh, Swindoll speaks his mind, and that's you know, isn't that the tagline SC2K? Yeah. There we go. Um. All right. What about you guys? Any, any of y'all have any other favorites from the Low Budget Review series? I think they deserve some of a, some of a shout out since they helped contribute to my, I guess. What's it? I guess gay man. They, they, help, them? They, they help tribute. Yeah, tribute. <laughs> they help tribute to my uh, <laughs> success <clears throat> on YouTube. Yes. They tribute. To tribute. How about Jamin? Was he in low budget reviews? I was in one. Okay. How about Jeff? Uh, no, Jeff was not in one. Masterhand was in one. It was actually me, Charlie, Masterhand, and Crazy Hand in that review for Contra, low budget review. And Crazy Whoa. Horse. My favorite people to commentate with in the low budget review series might have been. Uh, Venom 22 and Archangel Zero, um, us, us three worked well together, and this, those guys, especially Angel and his, his <laughs> random yeah. spats he has. Um, attack. Now, was he was he the same guy that made the, the Crunk Cola video? Yes, that was him. Okay, yeah, he's awesome. Get Crunk. Um, Get Venom 22, the guy Get that crunk. wore the, Venom 22, the guy that wore the uh, wrestling mask in the Christmas special Love Budget review. Okay, yeah. That's Venom 22, and uh, he's unmasked in my birthday video. Um, and mm. the unknown, uh, he's pretty funny. He did he did one when he was really drunk. I mean, he was really messed up. It was Sonic the Hedgehog 2, low budget review. Check that one out. He was messed up. Junkie uh, the Hedgehog. Stole my fire. <laughs> and, of course, Swindoll, Swindoll's rare appearances because he wants to mainly do – he wants to be in the chop and slow – uh, community on YouTube, not, not really part of the video game community. So he only did those as a favor to me every once in a while. But he's, he, he was hilarious, and I think that's how Charlie discovered me uh, on YouTube was the uh, Super C Low Budget Review, me and Swindoll. I thought that was one of our best ones we ever did. I agree. Uh, I submitted that Super. in Spunky's Review Contest 2, uh, the, the second one, part two, uh, second contest he hosted. I think I entered that one. Um, and uh, other people that have entered, We Guy. Gunstar Hero was in the those two YouTube Balls. art review, um, and uh, if there's some I forget. I don't know. J Man was in one. Turtles in Time, I think. Uh, uh, okay, then I was in two because uh, we had uh, Double Dragon two. No, no, that was the uh, low budget Let's Play. Ah, so well, it's so confusing because there's like there's like five different outlets of low budget. <laughs> 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 there, there was also it's like there, was a low budget, you know? there was a low budget let's check out video of I want to be the guy with me Charlie Masterhand right um, let's God. check out let's there check out the low budget checking out low, low budget. budget let's play <laughs> there was also another low budget let's play with Contra the Arcade with me and J-Man oh yeah oh god that stupid game <laughs> <laughs> you stupid game um and I think that's all that's been the cast of the low budget review series. If I forgot anybody. Yay. Uh, uh what? Gunstar. Gunstar. <laughs> I, I said that. mentioned. I already said lols. I said we got Gunstar Hero and Super Mario Kart. Yeah, but I've been drinking, so there we go. <laughs> yeah, you get drunk, man. Come on. <laughs> so you gotta say things uh, things like six or seven times. Here's here's one that's rarely known. Um now we have a low budget review of Ninja Turtles One for the NES, which is me, Angel and Venom. Um, that was originally originally me, Angel, and a guy named Young B, who you probably never heard of, but he's in the uh, one of my videos on my very first videos on YouTube. Where we're, we're playing Street Fighter from the webcam, and he's the guy <laughs> with, the, with the glasses and frizzy hair, uh, whooping everybody. Uh, and so he was supposed to be in that review, but my computer had crashed at the time, and I lost the whole review. 
and he could not come back and do the review again. But he was a big Ninja Turtles fan, and he knew everything about the Turtles. Unfortunately, he was never been in low budget reviews because of that fatal computer crash. Wow. Fatal tragedy. And now he's a nostalgia critic. Uh, yeah, he, he was that guy with the glasses. He's also yeah he he's also in the uh, S2K show on the S2K channel where it was one with Swindoll. Uh, we did the Mega Man one review, and he barely said anything, but he was sitting on the couch and didn't really feel like getting up and talking. And Swindoll was interviewing him about Street Fighter. <laughs> And Swindoll challenged him, do you think you could beat Jody Swindoll in Street Fighter 2 for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System? You know, it's no-brainer, man. And, but they, and they fought each other in the next episode where Young B won, and they had a good match, but Young B won that one. So, no-brainer, uh, man. <laughs> he, was, he was supposed to be in that Ninja Turtles Low Budget Review, but unfortunately, uh, I guess it wasn't meant to be. Um, but I want to thank everybody, everybody that's ever done the Low Budget Reviews with me. I appreciate it. Uh, I, the series is not over yet. Um, I don't know when I'm doing another one, but definitely be looking forward to doing a lot more low budget reviews on the wrong. wrong. Yes, what he said. So, uh, all right, I and, guess that's and, that. and just so we can get this on tape, when will I be in one? <laughs> Never. You had your chance. You had your chance, and you was like, "Oh, I got nothing." <laughs> so really, you should be asking yourself that question. I yeah. do every night. <laughs> Once again, Jeff has passed out during the podcast. Well, at least he got, well, at least he got, uh, at least he got his part in, so he's excused. Yeah. I guess you know what? I didn't say my part. I'm going to sleep. So uh, I guess it's time for us to go as well. I uh, guess that's it, unless anybody else has any last shout outs to do. So long, farewell. All right, so something, that's something, it, guys. Uh, for Bear, Jeff, J-Man, and Wee Guy, I'm Ron Moore. God bless and take care. <laughs>